For a W360 by 122 rolled steel beam subjected to a 250 kN vertical shear, what is the shearing stress at point A, 105 mm away from the edge? This is the first example for the shear flow and thin walled members main video. The links to that video and other examples are in the description below. With the designation of this white flange beam, we can look up its second moment of area and every other dimension of interest. The shearing stress at point A will be given by VQ over IT. The second moment of area is given, as is the shear force V. The thickness at A will be the dimension perpendicular to the shear flow stress vector, which in this case is 21.7 millimeters. Finally, and the most important part of this calculation, is the first moment of area Q. The first moment of area Q will be equal to the shaded area times the distance from the neutral axis to the centroid of that shaded area. You might be tempted to use a horizontal distance from the centroid along the x-axis to the centroid of that shaded area. But remember that the shear force is still a vertical shear force in this case, so the neutral axis will still be a horizontal line and the distance from it to the centroid of the shaded area is still a vertical distance. With the dimensions that we looked up for the white flange beam, we can calculate the area, and the y bar distance would be half of the height minus half of the thickness t. With this q value, we can substitute it in the shearing stress equation and find that the shearing stress at A is 12.21 megapascals. For other examples on shear flow and thin walled members, as well as the other main videos of the topics of the Mechanics of Materials course, make sure to check out the links in the description below. Thanks for watching.